Hi everyone. Uh, welcome to Amirpay Technologies. In this video, I'm going to explain about how to display, how to display the record, record by collecting the details from the SQL server database, just in a C sharp console application in ADO. How can you connect with the SQL server database? Right. In the last two videos, I explained how to establish the connection, how to create the table, how can we perform insertion operation and deletion operation. Now I'm going to explain how to display the details. So first of all, we need to ask enter account number and enter account number to display the details. Enter account number to display the details. So what all the details they input, suppose if they enter 101, if the details are present, if the record is present, then display the details. Display the details or else here it is, we are giving the error message. Right here it is, record not found message we are providing. Record not found. This is the simple way of doing this one. How can we do all these things? Here it is, I'm using that Visual Studio. The same story, because this is just a continuation video for the previous two videos. Please watch all the videos in a series so that you can understand, write all the things clearly. And as we discussed, this is the connection string to establish the connection. And what is the class we are using to establish the connection? is SQL connection we are using. And we know that what is the purpose of using method just to, to avoid the finally block to release the resources. It will be disposed the resource automatically. And now, first of all, we prepare the query. First, we ask enter account number to display the details. Just you need to give the account number as input. Now we are writing that select query. Right here, what all the details you need to display. Select number, account number, account holder name and balance from the account. Where the account number is, this one. So here, anyway, you are providing that account number. So displaying the account number is optional. No, sir, once again, I just want to display means. Yes, you can. Now here, once connection is ready, once you open the connection, then simply every command, every SQL command you are executing with this SQL command only. Nothing but the query we are executing. Query. Select query and with the help of this connection. With the help of this connection, simply. Now here, once, once that command is ready, SQL command is ready, just we are adding. We need to provide the value now. We need to provide the value to this number to display. Sir, what is the value? Here, that is what you have read from the user. No need to use the same variable. If you want to, if you want to change this variable name, yes, you can change this. But here, whenever you are setting the value, the value, see, look at this. This is the variable what you have read. The value you are storing into this variable, the same variable you need to set to this argument is a one simply okay and this should be a column name it should match with the column name we know already here it is in a in this account table column name is num name and balance these three properly you need to specify here num column name name column name and the balance all the three we need to specify all the three okay now, here it is, it's not non-execute query. See, if you want to execute any DML commands like insert, delete, update, or anything, we are executing that one. But now we are retrieving the data. If you want to execute any select query, DRL, data retrieval query, then here it is, command dot, we need to call the method is execute reader method. Which one? execute reader method you have to call what it will return if the record is present it just return return that object which consists the information 
sir suppose on failure if it is not there it just returns that null value simply i mean no records means what empty it will return sir how can we say that that record is present or not in this reader object means what simply by calling a method called read reader object dot read method we have to call if it returns true just it just returns true or false if record is present it returns the true value if record is not present it returns that false false means what else block execute so that directly we are giving the message is a no record found no if record is present then it will return the true value then we are displaying the details using that just as using that dollar string interpolation in a simple format the new way of printing the values right here it is reader reader is a object name object name dot here how can you specify just how we are collecting the details from the list collections list we have seen using that one by giving the column names or you can specify the column indexes also using that get that i'll explain in the in the next one okay this is one way of displaying the details just representing the column names the values will come the values we are printing this is the simple way in case while establishing the connection or while creating the sql command if you are getting any exception just we are printing that exception message once again just collect the input from the from the user so what is the input account number right to display the details to display the details of that account and then we are executing that query okay now here let me show you that how many records are there here it is three records are there is 101 102 and 103 three records are present three records now i just want to display the details how can we display the details simply here we are executing the query. We are executing the query. Look at this enter account number to display the details. Suppose if I specify the details are 103. Look at this 103. That name is Harin and the balance is 8000. Look at this. The values which are associated with the 103 is Harin and the, and the balance is 8000. A simple way of displaying the details. Okay. So please practice. Okay. Thank you.